So we've finally come to the end of my veganary reviews and we're ending it with a review of this. Now this is a sticky toffee tray bake kit from Bosch. We specialise in vegan foods. I've only ever seen the sweet food. I think they made the savoury foods, but I'm not sure. I have previously reviewed an item from Bosch a long time ago where I reviewed one of their cakes. You can actually buy their whole cakes in store. I'll put a link to that video. Be kind with me. It was one of my early videos, so I hope I've improved since then. So we're going to make up this mix and then cook it and review it and see what it's like. So with this box mix, you need two additional ingredients, vegetable oil and a plant-based milk. I decided to choose oat milk, but you could use any other plant-based milk. So there were two packets of um, sachets in there, like the flour. And it did really smell like sticky toffee when I was emptying them out. So that's the first sachet. This is the second one. I don't know why I'm so bothered about which way I'm opening it up but anyway <laughs> come on Denise open the sachet that's it and it goes see how long it took me to do this look how, look how long it's taking me oh anyway got there in the end Then I added the oat milk first. I don't think it matters what order you pull it in, to be honest, because it's all going to be mixed together. And then the vegetable oil. Yes, I know there's no handle, but pirates' jugs are expensive. And then mix it up with the whisk. It says a whisk in there, not a spoon. It's supposed to help keep the air in. Whisk it all up until it's all combined like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is pull it in the tin. Now, the tin is lined with greaseproof. I think my tin was probably a little bit big, but, you know, I wasn't going to get a special tin. I got so many tins from my baking day. So I just used this tin, pouring it all out and then just making sure that it's all even in the tin. So it bakes evenly. So I'm just going to spread it out now. Like that. And then it will be all ready to put in the oven. Make sure you obviously preheat the oven. Gas mark for, I think. It, all the instructions are on the back of the box. So this is it. You leave it out to cool. All baked. Now you're going to make the sauce. So this is, again, oil and the oat milk and another sachet. So this is the sticky toffee mix. Empty the sachet out. And then we're going to whisk it all together. Make sure it's all combined like this. And then you're going to put it in the microwave at increments. Again, it tells you in the back of the box what to do. And then when it's all piping hot, as you can see, pour it on the cake. This was really, really hot. And it was weird as well because it tastes, it smelled like gravy. It smelled like gravy like. It was just a weird smell. So pour it on the top and then I'm just going to spread it all out evenly. And then what you need to do is leave it for 15 minutes um, and then it's all done. So I decided to have mine with ice cream, so I had to keep it vegan. So this was the only vegan ice cream available in Morrison's. So that's what I got. I mean, you can have whatever you want with it. You can also add vegan custard or normal custard if you want, whatever you like. And here is the finished product. Now, what did it taste like? So... The finished item. Let's try it. It's not too bad, though, to me. It tastes kind of, oh, it's just got a taste like a bit of an aftertaste to it and I don't know if that's just, be, just because of the what kind of cake it is or if this is something that is part of um, the characteristics of a box mix. Now I've only ever made box mix cake once before in my entire life 
and that was the um it was a box mix from MS. It was a Percy Pig Blondie mix. And it turned out not too bad, but it was very, very, very sweet. It was overly sweet. Um, this one, I'm just going to have another little bit. See, right at the end, you get that. And I don't know if that's sweet or not or what. Bit of a funny taste. So it's okay, but... Oh, yeah. I, I think it's sweet now. Bit of an artificial taste at the end. It's okay. There's nothing um, mind-blowing. The ice cream, though... It's really nice. You wouldn't know it was vegan. So there you go. Um, it's interesting because I, I'm actually going to be starting to do, I'm going to be starting a series of reviewing, 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 can't speak, box cake mixes because I think I'm a, when I was baking, I always baked from scratch. And I think box mixes, I think they've probably come a long way um, over the years but I, I just I'm just intrigued to see what the quality of them is like now so watch out for that series but let me know in the comments have, have you tried this vegan box mix are there any other vegan box mix you've tried and how did they turn out until next time cake lovers